Want to use icons like me and elaborate your experience on EFC 24? Well, check out U7 Buy. It's the only place JD Gaming ever uses to buy his FC coins. Type in JD for a cheeky 6% off. Link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today, we look at Luis Figo. Four-star, four-star combination. You know the drill. This car looks amazing. He's got some really nice play stars. Looks like a very balanced icon. Always does. I kind of miss his card. He had a World Cup version last year that had five-star skills, which was absolutely brutal. Now, Luis Figo is a good card. He can definitely finish the ball. He runs really well. He's got the technical plus. He feels really good on the ball. Nice dribbling. Nice passing. He's crossing his pinpoint. I think he's a really good winger. I wouldn't really use him as a cam. I'd personally use him in two positions, either uh, as a winger or a striker, because he's finishing his class. I, I'm going to be honest with you. One thing I love about Figo, always loved about Figo, whether that's even from FIFA 17, he's got a really nice shot. He's got a really, really nice shot. got a lot of shot power as well. The only issue I have with this card, the only one issue I have with him, and I don't deny that he's a very good card, and in IRL he was fantastic. You know, one of the best players in the world when he played in real life. And remember him playing for Barcelona, Real Madrid. What a, what a player he was. He was insane, you know. Remember seeing him play for Portugal. Arguably one of the greatest Portuguese players of... Of all times, him, Eusebio, Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, all come to mind. Now, anyway, forget about that. My biggest issue with this card is there's better versions that are cheaper than him. So, for example, I I prefer... I, I prefer... I prefer Hansen to this guy, you know? I bought normal Grey Hansen when I sold him, and, and she cost me, like... 475,000 coins. This card cost me 680,000. I'll admit it's been a week or two. I'm not going to deny that. And, and of course, dr prices have further dropped. I think prices are only going one way and that's going down because obviously team of the season is looming in the air. However, I, I do prefer Hansen to this card. You know, Hansen's better. She's cheaper. I have to say I prefer the 90 rated version Usman Dembele. The, is it? The UCL one, 100%. I prefer him. Road to the knockout, should I say. That card's better than this. You, you both, you're getting five-star options with them two cards. You're not getting five-star skill option with these, with this card. And I think that's what really hinders this card, really. If you want to make him really worth it, I just think there's better options out there. And on the winger, on, and as a winger, you do want five-star skill option. You want to have as many ways of scoring as possible. But I do, I would say as a striker, I do like this card. He's definitely not S-tier. He's not an S-tier, S-class player. He's not an S-tier player. He's, a, he's an A-tier player. He's a good card. He's very balanced. And I'm not for one second saying this card isn't good. I just think for value for money, there, there are gold cards out there like Hansen. And there are cards out there. That Usman Dembele card's ridiculously dropped in price since he's back in packs. I, I checked his price. He's like 500 and something thousand coins. He's better than this guy. He's quicker. He's got five-star skills. Yeah, 